I was feeling a bit lost and uh, I didn't have direction of really how much I wanted to dive into a new career, right? And uh, uh, what I liked about the idea was that there was people, there was a group because being a solopreneur and working at home. And so I, I was in a space where I knew I just needed something and everything that you were saying and, and posting was resonating. So I I thought it, it certainly can't hurt. <laughs> and it seemed like it was an appropriate timing for me that to quote, find my voice or to compose myself. Uh, I just liked the idea of being around other artists. So I was in a, um, a space of just not knowing what direction to go. Yeah. I'm so glad you joined us. You're like a light for, for our group. <laughs> and I love the group Emotional dynamic. Light. <laughs> yeah, no, we have, we have such a great group dynamic. You know, because we all have come from different creative genres. And I just want to point out to our audience that that is your painting behind you. So spectacular. <laughs> and when you came, you were like, I'm not a professional artist. And the rest of us in the group were like, yes, you are. <laughs> that was really sweet. It was amazing to hear it because you don't get, that's I, what I, one of the biggest things about this is getting feedback. And it's hard when you're on your own and you just keep moving and you're like, I don't think this is working. And then other people are like, yeah, I think it is, <laughs> which is sweet. And I love that your ideas have expanded. Like you have, you've shared, you don't need to share for everybody here, but you've shared some, some spectacular visions and ideas and creative, uh, you know, like a creative expansion. That's your, your brain is just wired to be a professional artist. You are already a professional artist. So how does that feel in your body? How does it feel when I say that? It's uh, it's super exciting and it's kind of out of body actually. It almost feels like that imposter thing still, but I also know deep inside that I'm always thinking bigger and I want, I want to, you know, reach more people. And I always thought that was going to be more in the business and startup world. And um, always still creative, being a graphic designer in the background here and in, in, in my background. Um, in a um, corporate world, I wasn't really able to express as much, but I, I thought that that was the career route that would would make me my potential millions and whatnot. And uh, and now I just feel like what's what's joyful to do is the actual creative side of this, the art side of it. And so, and I, yeah, and as you were you know hinting at, I'm just thinking of more and more ways to put this art onto things and to get it out there and to create um, kind of joy and happiness and happy colors and and bring that to people and uh, yeah I really I want to go big on it we'll see <laughs> yeah <laughs> so we're we're literally about halfway through the group mm -hmm. right now what were what would be like you know one to three things that you would say that you've gotten already from being in compose yourself uh the structure of uh, doing a task and, and assignments just to really get grounded of, you know, what is our, um, I, well, we started it with thinking we were all going to create a series of some sort. So, and I really liked that of like, okay, I'm going to do a series of paintings that were Santa Cruz oriented, very surfy. And so just the idea of like, I'm committing to this and I'm being held accountable and I, I'm going to show everyone in the group my progress so that accountability is is so helpful for you know the scattered artist mind but also just again the solopreneur thing knowing that we were going to meet once a week and that I wanted to it, sometimes it was the night before or that morning <laughs> uh, you know the couple hours before of like okay I did my vision board okay I did my whatever and <laughs> it's still knowing that someone was expecting you to have something to contribute, you did it where it's easy to procrastinate that and not do it and drag your feet and just have it in your head mm -hmm. and not put it down where you can share it. So I think I didn't really separate these things, but accountability would be the first one. Um, and putting some structure as far as like a task and making a task list and a plan. Yeah. And, uh, I'm an overachiever, so I already like practically finished the six paintings in the series, even though that's we're not through. But I, I also didn't know how big of a series or a challenge I need. I was going to make for myself. I didn't really know what the group was going to be about, so I was like, "Well, here's one I know I want to do." It was an easy target, mm -hmm. and since then I've already expanded it. You know, now I want to get my business entity set up. I want to get in a gallery. I want to get like, now my list has grown way beyond just these six paintings, but 
I'm trying to stay focused on those so that those are done and so that I can, you know, get a straight A for my project. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that that really works well for you because you've been in the corporate world for so long. And when somebody gave you a task and a deadline, you got it done and you were able to tap into your creative side. And because that's what you did, right? You did creative yeah. in your job and, yeah. and tell people what you did in your job in the past. I mean, you've worked for some big companies. Yeah, I... I've worked at I worked at Apple. I worked at Old Navy in their visual merchandising department. Um, usually managing a team of designers or project managing or actually doing designing. And I've had my own business of doing logos and branding and catalogs and brochures and layout. And I I love even though this looks kind of chaotic in the background. I do like making order out of chaos mm -hmm. when it comes to design and typography and um it's something that kind of comes easy to me. Uh, and so that's been enjoyable. But I moved towards business and more leading uh, startups in their market, uh, finding what their market is and their positioning. And I really enjoyed that too. And I realized the main things I enjoyed about that were the people growing, you know, seeing a vision come, come to life. And I still love that world. Uh, mm -hmm. But I'm, wondering how I can apply it to my own business again. And I have started multiple little businesses before, but this one is so personal that it is a little tricky to apply yeah. those skills to your own business. And uh, I appreciate the group and their feedback. And I I did want to say one thing is that if you had to list things about the group, uh, maybe it, call it a third thing, is that listening to the others in the group really, 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 really helps. Like one-on-one -on -one coaching is great, but listening to them, I'm res it resonates. You're like, oh yeah, and you relate to it. And then also sometimes just giving, you know, I don't want to say giving advice, but feedback or advice to the others, you're hearing it to yourself as well. And it's um it's just motivating to see that other people are frankly that you're normal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah, because we all speak creative in here yeah. Right? yeah and it's it's like oh yeah everyone gets what you say immediately yeah that's awesome yeah, we all have a lot of ideas we all had setbacks we all want to do something that's um that we haven't it's hard to express because it might be a visual right mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah um, yeah it's sweet it's super supportive and uh i like hearing everyone else's stories that's awesome. Well, we love hearing yours. We love having you in the group. So before we go off, can you tell everybody here where they can find your art? Because I know they're going to want to follow you. And I have, um, yeah, my Instagram handle, it's been a nickname since high school, which is Bevco. It's part of my first and last name, Bev Connolly. So the Bevco, because Bevco was taken, I think it's a furniture company. I don't know. But so <laughs> at the Bevco on Instagram and beverlyconnolly.com is my painting site. And from there, there's actually a link to get to my design samples for graphic design if anyone needed that help too, because of course I'm still doing that. Right. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm pushing for doing more painting, but um, that is, you know, to bring the current cash flow is graphic design. And that's beverlyconnollydesign.com, but you don't have to remember both of those. They link to each other. Sweet. Yeah, because you're good at that. You're you're <laughs> great. You're you're techie and you're also creative, which you have both both sides of the brains run, running solid here. Uh, before we we um get off of the call, uh, what would what would you say is the biggest success you've had so far? I know you've mentioned a lot, but if you had to just say one thing that just really is resonating and that's really shifted for you, what would that be? Identifying and accepting the idea that I am an artist. So it is even hard to say, like it brings, it makes me get watery eyes already. It's a, it, I, it's my own judgment that I used to think that was, you know, somebody else and also that it sounded uppity or something but to be able to say I am an artist and I am you know a creative that's a little easier but to to claim that identity and I think that's really important to move yeah. forward to claim that it's a big deal big deal thank you love you yeah thank you <laughs>